Hold on to your seats. Meta drop a new model called the Lama 3.370B model. And they claim this smaller model can rival the performance of a Titan's like its own bigger sibling, the Lama 3.1 billion parameter model. If this is true, it could be a huge deal in AI. We're testing it head to head against the DeepSeq 2.5 to find out. Get ready to be amazed. Here's some information about this model if you are interested. The training data is a new mix of publicly available online data. The parameters is 70 billion parameter. Input modalities multi language text and output modalities also support multiple text and code. The context links is the usual 128k. The GQA is yes, token count is 5t. And the knowledge cutoff is December 2023. So from a year, it support English, German, French, Italian, Portuguese, Hindu, and Spanish and Thai. Let's take a look to its benchmark before we start testing this model. The provided benchmark from Meta developers actually showing this number, the 3.370B model, is really good in certain benchmark or category. In the MMLU, and the MMLU Pro, it's doing really good. In the instruction following, it's doing really nice also. And in the coding, human evaluation also is doing decent. In mass, it's better. In the long context, it's really decent. And the multi-language, it's really high. And in terms of rising, this model, like an insanely cheap model, like five cent for one million input, one million output. And in the live bench, one of my favorite benchmark ever, you will find the Lama 3.370B Instruct Turbo model just behind the GPT-40 Turbo April release of this year. But I did look to the coding score and to be honest, it's pretty low. The coding average is kind of bad compared to other models. So if I compared it to Cloud on 3.5, which is the current king of coding models, it will not hold its ground at all. For the global average, it's scored almost 50, which is decent for a model that is open source. And if we went to Artificial Analysis AI, which is an a great website to see and learn more about the quality and the speed and the price and the category that the models excel in, you'll find this model is higher quality compared to the average with a quality index across evaluation of 74. Currently, this model, the 3.370B model, is the leading open source model so far right now from Meta. It's better than the Mr. Large and the 405, which was an incredible model when it came out. And of course, it's better than the 3.1 and the 3.2. In the quality, it's just behind the Nova Pro, which is a model that is created by AWS not open source, it's work only on their bedrock and their ecosystem. And after it is the Mr. Large 2. In terms of speed, it's faster than the GPT-40 Mini, but behind the O1 preview. And in terms of price, as you can see here, it's dirt cheap. And the first thing that I scroll down to see the quality evaluation, the coding especially the human evaluation. It seems that it's not holding its ground that good. I mean, like the Mr. Large is better. The, is the Gemini 1.5 Pro September release is better. Imagine that, that the Gemini models encoding is better than the Lama 3.3 in the quantitative reasoning is holding its own and in reason and knowledge is just behind the GT40 November release and behind the LMS 3.1405 model and in scientific reasoning and knowledge, it's just behind the model that it's supposed to be acting like, which is very good for a model that is 40 gigabytes in terms of size. This model is currently available on Olama under the LMS 3.3. There is nothing else there. So you have to put this command line and it will automatically download. And it's also available at Hagen Face. But in Hagen Face, you have to request access. There is two places that I found that is really good to use this model. The first one is the Grok Cloud, which is of course very known. 
and it gives you this model in the ABI for free if you like to use it. And also you can use it at the Llama Arena or Chatbot Arena.ai. I'm gonna test it there and use it. This is my questions. I'm gonna ask it also to the DeepSeek version 2.5. It's a very good model also. It's open source. It seems fair to compare it to a model like this. So I'm gonna start by asking the first question, which is in mathematics. For the first question, I got a wrong result. The correct number should be 228.2433 until the end of this number, which for the first question, we have a failure. The second question that I have, what is the power of eight minus six to the power of eight? Double it and add two to the power of three and hit send and see if it will handle this correctly or not. Okay, we have minus, 2577 seven, which I think is the correct answer so in terms of mathematics it's not that the bad but like the first question is a very complicated mathematic question to solve for an simple AI like this it have to fail this question did confuse a little bit Gemini models a 5050 less than 560 all right it give me an immediate answer the speed of this model is really great like the answer i got it immediately so i don't have to wait for basically logic to be processed this question will be testing the ability in natural language processing with mathematics we have five crows on a branch three of them flow away two came back and three new crows joined the correct answer should be seven and i'm gonna ask it how many crows are on the branch right now hit enter oh have you seen the speed of this calculation this model is really good at this kind of stuff and i love the speed of it this questions for logic and reasoning linda has three sisters ball have four sisters can linda and ball be siblings the correct answer should be yes but for some reason this question get some model confused that's with immediate answer this model seems one of the best meta model that i got and tested so far Another question about NLB and also logic and reasoning. A normal bus is driving at 56 miles per hour. There are three people on the back row and two people on the second last row. What is the minimum number of people on this bus? He have to just add one number to it and say six. Yes, that's the correct answer. I got here six which is the driver. This model is fantastic. This model so far is amazing. Let's ask it this silly question. How many R's are in strawberry? We get it correct. Okay. Okay. It seems like it's stuck. I'm not sure what is going on over here. Okay. It seems like it's hallucinating for some reason about this question. Maybe if I refreshed the chat. Okay. When did I refresh the entire page and started new chat? It got me two, which is of course the wrong answer. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that some of the models that we have so far doesn't know the correct answer of how many R's in strawberry. And for this result, what is the number that rhyme with the word we use to describe a tall planet? It should be three, which I got the correct answer. For this question, I'm gonna test the coding capability it have. By creating a landing page for the app, this landing page should have five section header about us, about the app, features and download and contact us. Make the design creative and modern using Tailwind CSS for styling along with HTML and JavaScript. And let's see if it can handle this all or gonna fail. And this is the final result that I got from this prompt. It's not that great uh, compared to the stuff that we're getting from the Sonnet and the GPT-40. Models, even the Haiku model can do better than that. But I'm not here to test it as a coding assistant because I am 100% sure if I test it as a coding assistant, it will fail. So as you can see here, it's basically the meta result for coding. It's not that great. And now let's test its creative writing. Write a short story that begins with a sentence. The last leaf fell from the tree just as she made her decision. In terms of creative writing, it's really that decent. It follow exactly what I wanted. It started with the same sentence that I asked it to. So far, this model is not that bad, but when it comes to coding, it's a really big disappointment, which I am really used to from the meta model.
And here is the final result comparing the Lama 3.370B to the DeepSig version 2.5. And the first question, both of them have failed, but in every single question after that, they succeeded until we reach how many R's are in strawberry. Both of them failed. But the funny thing, what is the number that rhyme with the word we use to describe a tall planet? DeepSig actually failed which I don't know how this happened, but the 3.3 .3 did good. In terms of coding, everyone know that the DeepSeq model are better in terms of coding, so it succeeded much better. And also in the whole writer, and also write a short story that begin with sentence, also did, it, did better than the meta model, but it was slightly slower. It's not a huge leap of what meta model can do, but it's more about improving their own current Lama models. The main use cases for a model like this, the Lama 3.3, .3, is multi-language and shared bot assistant creation. The ability to handle multiple languages with support of like the eight core languages, including the English, Spanish, French, and Hindu, is big deal, especially for an open source model. It's basically really fast and really good in terms of logic and reasoning which is the main two components that you need for a chat bot or an assistant but to be honest as the article say here coding supporting and software development i really don't agree about this part because i have been testing every single coding model out there and so far no one can compete with the sonnet 3.5 or the haiku or the gbt 4 model or the O1. Maybe there is one model right now that this might be competing really hard is the Gemini Experiment 1206. I'm gonna talk about this model in a video of tomorrow and I'm gonna test it as a coding assistant inside Visual Studio Code. If you found this video respecting your time and providing you with valuable information, Please hit the like and subscribe button and leave a silly comment for the algorithm about what you think of the release of this model. I have been expected the Lemma 4 to be released by now, especially with what is happening with OpenAI new models and the coming Gemini model. But it seems that it's not going to happen very soon, maybe in the coming year. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and see you in the coming one.